Good day, Saitlanders. How are you? We hope that you are very, very well. We hope that you're as well as can be under very trying circumstances. And I'd like to speak to you about one aspect of the prevalent circumstances, namely the fallacy of the lockdown. I think by now that we can all agree that something in this story doesn't quite ring true. I was debating with a family member the other day who is reasonably awake, who understands reasonably well that uh, some things don't make sense, but who is also exposed to various influences. And I said to them, it's a bit like this. You may be right that the coronavirus is this and that it's not that. Such and such a scientist may be right. Such and such a doctor may be right. But it's a bit like me calling myself Arthur Norrington Smythe. It is true that there are some letters in the name Arthur Norrington Smythe that are common to my name, Simon John Roche. But my name is not Arthur Norrington Smythe in the same way that the story of the coronavirus and the COVID-19 as it has been presented to us is not the true story. We can haggle and nitpick and dispute quibble and squabble over this and over that, and maybe that's true. And all in all, we know by now that the story we have been told is not the true story. And what we also know is that we do not have better access to intelligence. That is to say, information, intelligence in the sense of processed information than the governments of the world have. Therefore, whatever we can see that stinks, stinks from the head, they can too. Be warned, ladies and gentlemen, be warned. The powers that be know what is going on. The lockdown, the causes of the lockdown, the reasons for the lockdown, the consequences of the lockdown. We are being deceived. Thank you.